All right, my friends. Well, I am at Whiskers, which is a sister store or brother store to the one I was at yesterday, Memphis Wine and Liquor. They said I should come out and try it. I don't know if you can see this in the in the in the mirror here, but uh, I do have a Whataburger uh, uh, ugly Christmas sweater. It's not ugly; it's beautiful. So, all right, and there is they have the balconies here uh, with the company distilling, which I don't know anything about. Got the hotty toddy there. Oh, good. I'm glad they. I think this would be a good pairing right here. These are some good good things. They're both kind of green, so I kind of like how they're going there. And the Calamus and the Visa. All right, well, let's kind of see what else we got. They got some of the chicken, you know what? I think most of this is going to be kind of brandy. Oh, there's some Canadian stuff down there. So, they don't have a lot of room through here, so I'll kind of, kind of keep kind of straight through here. Uh, just kind of point out some interesting things through here. Uh, Angel's Envy, and yeah, yeah, kind of. I, I think they had the gift set over there yesterday. You know what I'm going to say? Not even going to say it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it. Why would you put a belt on a bottle to keep the label on? Hoot and Young. Got the Mictors. Got some of the small batch. Got the double oak. Alright, so... I think what I'm hearing is that the single barrel, but I don't think they have the one that people told me to get. So... Um, I'm still on the fence about which, and, and I think if I'm going to do it, I'm at least going to get a single barrel, but I think the next one is the, the other one I need to get. We've got some of the Chattanooga. Got stuff that's specifically for Canadian Chris. He loves this stuff. And then we've got a little bit of the Jameson. Lagavulin's great. Uh, I was going to get a bottle of 16 for my birthday, but I think I may get me a, one of those uh, upper end uh, uh, Four Roses. Got some eggnog and some Campari right there. That quarter cast is a uh, good price. All right. Almost getting me. I think that would be good. All right. Fix all of these bottles for them here. Got some Jack Daniels. Got the single barrel. Um, this bottle looks different to me. Uh, it just says Sour Mash. Um, anybody else seen this? I don't know. I don't know. I think that bottle seems different. I don't know that I recognize that being there. Got the Heaven Hill, which is great. Got you a little bit of the Habiki there. Ah, they got the Buffalo Trace, which is nice. Old Scout. A lot of people talking. Uh, Knob Creek's hot in the comments right now because I got the, my brother gifted me the 18. But, man, that's a big old bottle right there um, you might tell me is that rye is it minty or is it not minty the makers mark the 46 no dunkers I can see in there so, and of these which one of these should I grab um, I think there's another makers mark that I should probably look at you let me know Got wild turkey sorry I'm really as tight tight fitting I'm, I feel like I'm auto zooming in here great bottle bird dog it's a lot of flavored whiskey. All right, I'm getting kind of back into a little bit of the cognac. Right, now the angle's going to be weird because I'm kind of walking funny. I'm not walking funny, but I mean, it's because it's for tight. Got a little bit of this Pendleton. I've tried it. Got some of the old Dominic. Got some of the Larceny. Is this the only stag we're going to see today? Oh, Granddad. Oh, but not, not, not the other. Oh, Granddad. Restoration Rye. Oceans. BSB. Someone called me out and said I said that was BSM. It was a, wasn't a typo. I just couldn't see. Here's another one. interesting one I've not seen before with a different label. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've not seen uh, I've not seen that label before unless I've been here and it's been so long since I've been in here. There's a McAllen's. Everybody knows my favorites. You'll come in. Oh, so good. Um, if you want to try something that's sweet, got a little bit of heat in it, got a different kind of sweet, fantastic. Got the powers, which these are great. All right, now I'm going to kind of be at a weird, another weird angle because I got to kind of scooch down a little bit. Might go a little bit faster than most people want on this, but got the Dickel. Got the Evan's Door, straight bourbon. I think this probably is the most Sagamore rye that I've seen. Uh, 
other than a place out of Jackson. Tell me, tell me, uh, if you once had this, is this rye? Is it minty? I, I just don't like spearmint. It's not my favorite uh, of the flavor profiles. So, right. let's see here, Jim Beam. There's some of my dad's whiskey, Old Kentucky Tavern. If you haven't had it, it's good for what it is. For sipping whiskey or making making old fashions for people who come to your house. So. I'm going to zoom up here and try to see some of the tequila, just so I can try to try to see a little bit of a little bit of something different. Maybe there might be something fun and cool in here. Let's see if he's got any cool bottles. I love the bottles on these; they're so nice. Oh, I think I can walk back here. I may walk back over here a little bit. There was a wall here. Luna Zool. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I think the last time I heard someone say Zool, it was when they summoned uh, from Ghostbusters. So, all right, well, all right, well here you go. Uh, they do have a couple bangers. I'm gonna go up front and uh, get them real quick and uh, see what they got. All right. If I missed anything or anything over here, I should grab. You let me know. Ah, oh, simple syrup. I like that. Grenadine. All right. All right. Well, I told you they had some. So I got the twelve, uh, the Tweller, <laughs> the Weller Twelve. They got the Weller Antique 107. They've got Stag here. It is Stag 23B. They have some Eagle Rare, and they have the Elmer T. Lee. And if you're looking for Elmer T. Lee, they've got three bottles of it here. They got the the Mini Blantons here, which is nice. And I guess this is that you don't have the big bottle, do you? Is it? Is that the big one too? Oh, you do have the big bottle, don't you? Oh, he does have the big bottle. He's gonna hand me the big bottle real quick and I'll just hold it. Oh, oh he's got the big bottle. And it looks like it is letter N. So that is a pretty good lineup for not knowing he had any of this. Uh, I was over at the uh, Memphis Wine and Liquor and he said, you should go see my brother. He's got Weller and he's got Stag. So here they are. So if you're looking for this stuff, it's uh, right here. Uh, just come in and see him and tell him you saw Major Zero and he'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, Alright, well, uh, this is gonna be a short one today, but uh, thank you guys and uh, I'll have a little wrap-up at the end of this video uh, Where I go where I get something All right. All right. Well, I came back to uh, Memphis wine and uh, liquor because uh, Mr. Payne sent me $20 in a super chat and told me to get the Cooper's craft. I'm gonna do it right now Thank you for that. I've been on the fence about that for a while uh, so um, they didn't have it at the other store, so I drove back over here. Uh, you guys, if you see something you want me to have or try, and you put a super chat in there, and it's not Will It Pot still, I'll get pretty close to the price. You don't have to pay for the whole thing. Uh, when I told my wife I was going to get this, she said, that, well, I should say the CFO said no. Um, but I said, I said, Mr. Payne paid for it. And she's like, okay, fine. I can't say no to that. So, all right, guys. All right, well, I'll try it out, and I will let you know. Thanks. Oh, and like and subscribe. Come on. I'm almost at 2,500. Maybe I can do it before Christmas. Maybe my birthday. Maybe New Year's. Who knows? Let's do it.